Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today is time again for Dax Fridays and uh, today we're going to talk about format. We're going to go through a lot of ways to format numbers and format dates. I know that you probably do most of the formatting, if not all, in Power Query, but there are uh, cases where you like to do it or need to do it in DAX. And for these, I am going to show you the options that you have so you can use this as reference in the future. So let's begin. So here we are in Power BI and we have a table with a column that has numbers in different formats. Um, and what we're going to do is use the format capability to actually um, modify these numbers as we need or like. So here we are on the DAX documentation and uh, here is shows the syntax what format is a um, value or expression and then you have uh, the way that you want to format that value or expression. Mm. There are actually a lot of ways to format as you can see the documentation is quite extensive so what I'm going to do in this video is show you all not not all but a lot of the ways of formatting so in case you need it you might remember this video and come back and check it out and just be able to format it correctly so there are ways to format like predefined numeric formats there are like the custom ones and predefined date and time formats and the custom ones and we will go through some of these just as an example i mean the, the most important so let's go back to power bi Okay, so now we are back in Power BI and we're going to go through the predefined format methods. So with these numbers, we're going to create a new column and we're going to call it uh, general number because that is how the predefined um, function is called. And we use format we put numbers and now would you actually write here believe it or not this general number and as you can see so what this does is actually it displays the number with without the thousand separators i actually don't have here um anyone with thousand separators so why don't we do that uh, let's go back there and we write one so we see it in action oh it removed it okay but anyhow what, what it does is just removes the um, the comma it just removes it in power query because it is formatted as a number and as a number you cannot have a comma but uh, anyhow you know what it does let's try a new one we are going to have a currency and what this format does is actually we write currency and it formats with the currency that you have on your regional settings Okay, I have my Power BI in the US settings and that's why you see dollars. Uh, options. What is regional settings? Whatever you have in here, that's what it will be used for this pre-formatted uh, or predefined formats. So if you have it in Swedish, it will show Swedish grounds, or if you're in Spain, Euro, so whatever it is. So this is a easy way to actually display your currency, especially if you don't have the symbol, Power BI will take care of that. So let's do another one. We have a fixed, and it's format, and then numbers, and then we write fixed voila 
And with these tasks, it displays at least one digit to the left, so after the dot, and two digits to the right. So what it's basically doing is two digit uh, decimals. Let's do another one. We have standard format and then numbers and then stand we no satan standard and these this place the number with the comma the thousand separators if you are in um, in another country you might have the dot but for this is a comma and uh, this is actually quite useful because I, a lot of times I won't have that comma just to be able to see with all the numbers. So this allows you to do it. There is another one called percent. Oops. Format. And then we have numbers and then we have percent. And yes, I'm sure you guessed it. It just does the percents with two digits to the right, what means with two decimals. You have the possibility to have a scientific format, and then you have a number. We, oops. Numbers, and then you write scientific. And it displays with a scientific notation. Nothing strange there. And if you go to the documentation, you will see the rest is yes, no, true, false, and on, off. So it's not very difficult. Um, so these are the predefined um, formatting. Uh, possibilities you have, but you have, of course, mm, what is it? Custom numeric. You have, of course, the possibility that you have in Excel to do your own formatting. And here is, I think, where things start to get a bit interesting. So let's try some things. We will do um, no decimals. We were doing rounding last week, so this week we are going to do different rounding. Because you can actually do that. We have a custom number and then we have a zero. That will give you the number without any decimals. Okay, we'll round up. Now, let's say that we want to have four decimals. So this is what we will do. We will go to what we want to achieve is this one. So format and then guess what you do. You do exactly the same in Excel. So if you know how to do formatting in Excel very well, you will be able to do it in DAX easily because the syntax is basically the same. But I'm going to show you a few tricks in case you didn't know, just to help you go along. So let's do another formatting. Let's do, we want to display millions. Let's say that those are millions and we want to display on millions. Uh, so. Um, so we're going to do million and thousand. Now this is a little bit of a long uh, formula, so I, I will write it so you don't have to see me write it, but I will explain it too. So we're going to use switch. If you don't know how to use switch, go to one of the DAX videos I have so that explains it. But we're going to use switch. That is basically an if statement. It's another way to write it. And we're going to say that if the number is bigger than a million, format it with a million. If it is a thousand, format it with a K. And otherwise, just we don't want to have any decimals. Let's put this baby into action, please. 
And here you have it. So you can see that you have a lot of possibilities if you start using if or switch to actually modify how you want your numbers to be. And you can do this, for example, with currencies. You say, if country US dollars, if country Spain uh, euros, if country Sweden Swedish crowns. So you can do a lot of things with it. There's a few more examples. We are going to do leading zeros, for example. I will copy the formulas for now on so it doesn't get too long the video for just see me writing. So we're just adding the number of leading zeros we would like to have. We press enter and we see them there. This is for part query the text pad start or start pad, I never remember. One of those. Let's say that we would like to have just one decimal. So this is how we write it, same as in Excel. Come on. Okay, so lazy today. Uh, two decimals, you would write it very similar. A percentage, of course, you can do. Uh, let's do that. Percentage. Hmm. So there you have it. And of course, you have the possibility to do it scientific also. So let's go in there, put it there, and then you get the scientific notation for those. So a lot of uh, ways you can format things. You can, of course, do date formatting. And um, there are, again, two ways to do it. There, you have predefined formats and then you have custom formats where you can pretty much format it as you like. So we have general date. Again, I won't write them anymore, so I don't bore you with that. So it just writes the date without text. Then you have long date that it will actually format the text with text. Hmm. It's a bit lazy today. So because this was test, uh, you can use uh, general dates instead, but that's what it will give you. You can have um, short date, long time, uh, I have them here in the Power BI file that you will be able to download uh, the different versions. This is for time, it will give you the entire time. If you can see you don't have anything, it will be 0, 0, 0. Medium time is telling you 12 a.m. or 1 p.m. or whatever it is. And then the, the short time is without the a.m. on or m. So you will be able to download this file so you can just go and check it out and see um, what the different formats do. And finally, we have the custom dates and uh, we have again a date and here you have all these thousand possibilities. You have the possibility to get the day, you have the possibility to get the month, you have the possibility to change this around. You say I want day, month, year, or you could say I want month, day, year. I mean, the combinations are just huge. Here in the documentation you can see all the options that you have and I'm sure that if you are a Excel user you've been using these so it's no idea for me to go into a lot of detail of each and every one of them. But remember that if you use format together with an if statement like we did in here you could do a lot of stuff that you would be able to do it in DAX in uh, Power Query 2, but that might not be the right place to do it. It depends on your scenario. Well, so this is actually all. So this is all for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, please let me know by liking it or by sharing it. If you have comments, questions, suggestions on the video, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And uh, subscribe, I publish Power BI videos every week. 
So have a great, great weekend and see you soon next time. Bye.